On to the men's 200 metre butterfly. And of course, all eyes here will be on Nick Darcy, who made headlines last year for all the wrong reasons and would still be in a very nervous state of mind about what's to come for him. But he just wants to go out there and defend his title and hopefully be off to Rome. Yeah, he spoke this morning post heats, said that he's trying to clear that out of his mind. He's just thinking about racing. And you'll have some opposition with Lachlan Staples beside him and Christopher Wright in lane number three. But really at 1.57 from the heats this morning and Australian record time that it's at 1.55. He should be unchallenged here, which will then lead him to be selected to the Australian team. And then the quandary starts after that, for six days after these trials, is due for sentencing for that pleading guilty to assault of Simon Cowley. All right, let's have a look at those that will be competing against him. Jaden Hadler, the 15-year-old from Queensland. And there's Adam Cable also from Queensland, the 22-year-old. Chris Wright in lane number three trains with Stefan Vidmar. He's Susie O'Neill's cousin by marriage, Cliff Fairley, Susie's husband. It's his, his cousin. And it was Susie that was instrumental in suggesting that he goes long and swims with Stefan. Stefan was the assistant coach to Susie's coach, Stefan, uh, Scott Volkers. And Stefan has the swims, in fact, in lanes one, two and three. So <laughs> he'll know which side of the pool to look at. There's Nick Darcy getting a good round of applause from the crowd here tonight. And Lachlan Staples. Trains with Zane King at the King Swim Club on the central coast of New South Wales. He won silver in the 100 metres butterfly and 200 metres in the uh, junior pan packs recently. Did Lachlan Staples. This is Declan Potts, Norwood Club in South Australia. This is Shane Asbury. Rowan Taylor's his coach at the Manor Wadding Club in Victoria. And Callum Tins rounds out the field. Tracy Menzies is the coach there at Aquadot until May when she moves to the AIS to commence stint of time at the AIS as a coach. Now, how fast can he go? Be nice to think he can get back to at least a 156. His best, 155.10. Of course, Michael Phelps with the world record at 152.03. The men's 200 fly. Darcy makes a good start. And they're away from the bottom of the pool. It's Tim's in eight, Asprey in seven, Potts in six, then Staples in five, Nick Darcy in lane four, Chris Wright in lane three, Cable in two, and Jaden Hadler in lane one. And Darcy's away pretty well. Yeah, Staples tried to go with him at least for the first 25 metres, but already he's showing his dominance, Nick Darcy, going around at the first 50 metre there, well and truly in front, Anthony. 25.90, Phelps' world record, 25.36 was his split. Yeah, so he's come out quite quickly. He's come out fighting in this, and his body position looks particularly good. He's very high in the water. You'll notice he is breathing every stroke. That's part of his rhythm. Some butterflies breathe every second stroke. So it's Darcy from Staples and Chris Wright in lane three. And uh, good pace two from Callum Timms in lane eight. Well, let's watch the time at the 100 metre mark going around at 55.05. So a nice first 100 split. He basically has to come back in a 102 to go 157, which is the selection time. It's quite an easy time to come back in. So I'm thinking he's probably going to be around the 156 or 155. Still pretty tight for second place on either side of Nick Darcy with Christopher Wright in three and Lachlan Staples in five. But Darcy is uh, very much cruising in terms of competition in this race. Let's have a look with 50 to go, 124.61. Good on the wall, good technically. Really came in on a full stroke, nice underwater, didn't lose anything there. The battle's really on for second, but right now Nick Darcy is heading himself off to Rome with a great performance here in the 200 metres butterfly, increasing the tempo now, going for everything in one last effort into the wall. 157.67 is the time as far as qualifying for Rome is concerned. Darcy lets his swimming do the talking. He's qualified for Rome. We still don't know if he'll be able to go, but tonight he's done the job and he'll be delighted with that. It's an Australian record. So a great performance. Australian record to Nick Darcy in his return to the pool at the Australian Swimming Championships. Under 155. That's great. 
just slightly off that Commonwealth record held by Moss Burmester, who is here racing at the meet, but isn't allowed to race into the finals, being a New Zealander. Great, great technically. I mean, Brian Steary's coach up at the Maroochydore Club has obviously done a great job, along with Nick, working on the technical aspect to it. The stroke looked great, breathed every stroke. Nice rhythm, had a really high body position, almost like a hydrofoil through the water. On the turns, hit every turn on full stroke, held at least five or so kicks off the wall. Nice high elbows underwater and a full stroke into the wall as well. Head down, big streamline. Well done. And uh, man, that's been an extraordinarily tough 12 months for him, obviously. Uh, swimming, I guess, is has been his sanctuary in some yes. way, something for him to put his energies into. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Well done to him. I'm, I'm really pleased for him, the fact that he's been able to come here and do a personal best time and, and improve by, it's been tough for him. He's improved by so much. And you can see, once he looked up at the scoreboard and saw the time, 154.46, an Australian record, still uh, two and a half seconds out from Michael Phelps. And Chris Wright has qualified, qualified as well. Qualified as well, yeah. yeah. moved up to the fourth fastest Australian in all time. So that's a great effort from uh, the 20-year-old in Chris Wright from commercial in Queensland. He just missed out narrowly on the uh, Beijing Games last year. Mm. But Nick Darcy is downstairs on pool deck with Mark Howard. Nick, congratulations. You've got a big smile on your face. A dominant performance right from the start. Oh, man. I thought I got to the 100. I was singing a little bit and I thought... This is, this is hurting more than any other 200. I might have spent, my, spent all my life in the first 150, but just struggled home in the last 50 and came up with a good time. It was the best thing I've ever, best thing I've ever done, so I can't, can't complain. Australian record, mate. Not bad for a bloke that in his own words just said he struggled home. Oh, mate. Well, um, I knew I was going to struggle home because I was singing a little bit in training, but um, looks that I held together in the last 100 even though I was hurting, so that's, that's giving me a lot of confidence going into Wells. Whether you could hear it or not, the crowd was really behind you over the last 25 minutes. Probably the biggest roar we've heard tonight. You're getting some good support? Yeah, man, I've been getting um, a lot of great support, especially at the swimming here. The crowd's just been absolutely phenomenal. I don't know if they know, but you can actually hear them coming in that last, last 50, and that was one of the things holding me together. So just um, an enormous thanks to them and all my family that's come down, grandparents, aunts and uncles, and parents. So. Just, uh, just an, an amazing experience. And how are you travelling yourself, mate? Obviously, your situation's been well documented. Your coach was talking last week. He was amazed how you were dealing with the pressure. How are you actually going? Yeah, well, um, it was getting to me a little bit in my, um, the end of my preparation, obviously, as it was getting closer. But, I mean, um, I put together a couple of good sessions, but it was a little bit up and down. But sometimes that's to be expected. And obviously a little bit stressed out because it was very serious and it had did take its toll on me emotionally, but just come and um, come and do a time like that makes it all worth it. The pool must be a great place to escape a few of the issues you've got going on, I guess. Yeah, look, well, um, I just try and forget about it on days like today because it's not going to help anyone, me thinking about it now. But um, I just try to, try to think about the pool when I'm here and um, when I've got uh, the other stuff, the, the legal issues, I, I think about that then. So just try to compartmentalise it and... Um, just uh, do everything to the best of my ability. Well, as I said, there was a massive roar for you, Nick. Congratulations on an Australian record. Well done on a super swim. Cheers. Thanks, mate. Nick Darcy got the job done, and he has qualified for Rome. He now has a, an anxious week after the championships are concluded. We'll take a break.